Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here. Episode number 36 of our Entente campaign on Strategic Command World War I. Um, not going to say too much right now, uh, just because it's been a couple weeks since I've actually played this game, and I honestly don't remember any of the uh, particulars. Uh, we've made progress in some spots, we've had setbacks in some spots, and in some spots we have kind of just held position. I'm looking at you, Russia. Um, I think a lot of the German forces seem to be collecting over here, which means they may weaken their western front, or their eastern, yep, never mind, yeah, eastern front. Uh, problem being is the Bulgarians joined the war and not on our side, so uh, that's not a good thing. Uh, we are going to try and get these guys out of here. Um, they got beat up pretty good. If these guys move in and strike them, they're probably going to die. Uh, big mistake sending them over here, uh, trying to retake Belgrade, um, but it is what it is. I'm not going to give up uh, on Munich uh, just yet. Uh, I did think about trying to push in. And uh, we're not that far out from uh, Vienna. So if we can push in um, and then come up and around, we could move some of our forces to the north, some to the south, uh, and cut these guys off from... Uh, everything but themselves. Uh, and then try and move in on Vienna. thing we have going in our favor, hopefully, is these beasts here. Uh, we have one tank corps for the British and one for the French. Um, so we're going to look at get these guys into action uh, fairly soon. Um, they did kind of push forward a little bit uh, towards Liege. Um but we have uh, two core that we can bring to bear on them, artillery as well, and uh, hopefully just deal with them. Um, got Belgian troops that are up here. Uh, we have, I think this is Dusseldorf surrounded, uh, so hopefully at some point we can take Dusseldorf, get rid of this guy in here, and then we could have a solid front line that extends hopefully up to Willemshaven. For those of you that uh, watched my U-boat season one, Willemshaven is where U-48 was uh, stationed out of. Now if we uh, go down here to France, I don't even know if it'd be in here. La Rochelle, right there. That's our new home in season two of U-boat. I will link to that both series at the end of the uh, at the end of the episode here, uh, I haven't really decided if I'm going to do this episode as a double turn or a single turn. Um, if I do not do this as a double turn, I will do the next one as a double turn, um, or maybe both. I haven't decided yet, so I'm going to stop babbling and we're going to get into episode number thirty-six. The ascension of Kaiser Karl increases national aspirations in Austria. The fall of Cologne lowers German morale. Bolsheviks call for peace, lower Russian determination to continue the war. Bolshevik revolution leads to disorder in the army. That sucks. A lot of explosions going on out there. Wish I'd known about this guy out here near Moscow. Central Power Raiders disrupt Canada UK convoys. German Commerce Raiders, Raider Mao, tax trade from the British Empire. Bolsheviks take power in Russia. I think we may just uh, may just have lost Russia. 
from technical technological gains for the allies. 218 MPP for the Russians. Uh, we may lose them fairly soon. That's that's going to be bad. Uh, 539 for France, 365 for the UK. Some repositioning there. No, I meant much hope in terms of uh, our forces out in Iraq or um, Mesopotamia. Yeah, they got a pretty solid line up in front of us right now. Looking at this right now, I, I kind of see an opportunity to possibly cut off some more. Uh, Central Powers units, but we'll still have to wait and see on what they do. Their turn. Bombing industrial centers. <clears throat> Doing some reconnaissance. Now they're attacking with artillery. Go forward. Operating units doing quite the amount of damage to them. We may destroy them just with artillery. Railgun bombing our submarine. Or artillery hitting the Russians. heavy bombardment that unit shattered taking losses got a garrison that just took a nasty amount of damage he gets hit again he's done if I can get him out then that's going to be what I'm going to do Obviously. Oh, they're attacking out of Dieseldorf. That's, uh, bold. All right, no damage done in that attack. Red Baron's attacking a submarine. Right, they're reinforcing units. Quite an active turn for the uh, central powers. Bolshevik calls for peace. Uh, Bolshevik inspired agitation against the war spreads to Austria Hungary. That was interesting. We may lose the Russians, but we might take Austria-Hungary with us. Now January of 1917. Alright. Uh, Subspotted near in the North Atlantic. 
Uh, Japanese Navy has a flotilla of modern destroyers able, available for service in the war. Oh, yeah? We can either use these to deal with the German commerce raiders operating in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, or we can ask the Japanese to sail to Gibraltar. And there we could use them either in Mediterranean or the Atlantic. Would you like the Japanese to remain in the Indian Ocean to deal with the enemy commerce raiders there, or would you like to sail them to Gibraltar? Uh, if you say yes, the operations of the Japanese Navy in the Pacific and Indian Oceans will have the effect of reducing the effectiveness of German commerce raiders. If you say no, then a full-strength destroyer with full research will deploy at Gibraltar in April of 1917. During the war, Japan complied with the British request to send ships to the Mediterranean, and ultimately 20 Japanese vessels were based at Malta. From here, they provided escorts to shipping coming under attack in June 1917 when the Austro-Hungarian submarine torpedoed the Sakaki destroyer. Okay, I'm going to say no and send them to Gibraltar. France gets a core. France gets a core. Albania gets a detachment. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Thanks. At least you can cover our guys getting the hell out of there. Okay. Now you, my friend, are going to leave, and you're going to be preceded by the submarine. It's the furthest out he can go. You can go out here. So he... He's, he's going to try and get back to... If I could put him in Tunisia. Algiers. Just to kind of keep him safe. Uh, let's get some of our... Get some of our ships out this way. Could use destroyers, but who is this? Algeria to France. I've completely neglected my navy in this game. Okay, well he can't move, so hopefully they don't decide to take our capital behind us. They might. Uh, I didn't really want to do that. Read enough and move you back. I'm gonna dig them in a little more. All right. to be reinforced. I'd say this guy needs to be reinforced too. Oh, not much going on there. Oh, one to nothing. One to nothing for both of them. What's his ground cover? Five? Wow. Again, again, some more. All right, he's surrounded now, but apparently too strong for us to attack. Force him.
Minsk. We can get you up. Put you right there for now. Let's uh, go find that other unit. Here it is. Operate. Actually, increase first. And I'll have to remember he's there. Um, let's go down here to... The ottoman front, if I can find it. There it is. Much we can do here. Uh, we are trying to get them out. Like we can do. Oh, I guess capture the Najaf. One of nine shells. I'm not doing anything there. Very indecisive turn on my part here. Uh, we got something going on over here. We haven't really been able to do much of anything with entire time so all right uh, we've got reinforcements that can be sent across our tank can be sent across so there's one tank Oops. Transport. Previous transport. Oh, because he moved. All right, I see what's happening there. Uh, let's get you over on the mainland. And then you as well. Air bore. We have any destroyers, any naval units out here at all, other than submarines. We have a submarine. Oh <laughs> my! Over here. That's a submarine. India to UK. I mean, here's our destroyers. Was sending them across to try and do something about the uh, the Red Sea, the Persian Gulf. Happening here. And then I'm over here to uh, do something about all this. Need more destroyers. All right. All right, let's see. Foul weather. Do nothing. Or to nothing. How far up I can operate him? Let's see. And not very much further than normal. Hmm. 
two to two, two to three. Two to three here. Four to one, four to nothing. shell one you guys are powerful as hell there's a four to three out here I don't think I have anything else that I can attack four to three four to two tank up to a level one before we start moving in. Two to nothing, two to nothing, two to nothing, three to nothing, three to nothing, two to one. guys just need, need reinforcement. Move our headquarters unit down and then this one up. Hesitant to pull this guy over here. There we go. Uh, and then let's pull you. Actually, I can't. Pull you up, I guess. And then move you over to SN so we don't lose it. This is ground cover six. God. what that would have given us. I'm not leaving Cologne. Reinforce here.
I don't want him to be so weak, though, if I attack and... Dig you in. It didn't work for some reason. Try again. There we go. Could just. Move them up. Got a two to one. I want to leave my entrenchments. Uh, give you an extra layer. up here. Oh, we can go up to level 2 now. Sweet. Eat. Dig them in. Really wish I could pick this guy in a little more. Rotate that to the south. We can we can't do any hyper reconnaissance on this guy, I guess. Far out. Anything. Dig him in a little more. Uh, move some of our headquarters units up. This plane a little further up. So we should be able to uh, start uh, making use of our tanks in the next turn, or at least get them up there. Uh, upgrade you. Nothing really we can do down here. I think that's going to do it for this turn, except for, uh, let's see, what can we spend anything more on Italy? Insufficient funds. We can't. Let's see what we can research here. trench warfare French
as well as the British. And then uh, Russia. We have another core for Russia. Russia. A Belgium, Canada. France. Another core for France. Another two core for France. Why not? Italy's starting to get on my nerves. They're only 19% in our favor. US is 41%. Everyone else is siding with the bad guys. Portugal's at 60%. I don't think we can spend any more. Okay. See if we can get Portugal on our side. No, I should probably go with, like, Greece. Might not be a bad idea to try and persuade the Greeks to not join our enemies. So... All right, I'm going to end the turn here and uh, continue on. We'll have a double turn episode here. Egress Colonial Corps suffers attrition. Bolsheviks call for peace. UK raises more troops through conscription. Glad I just spend all my money on troops. Uh, Algeria, France convoys. They got on of freaking blockades. German commerce raiders Siedler attack shipping in the Pacific. The inventor Ferdinand von Zeppelin dies at age 78. Alice Wielden is convicted of conspiracy to murder Lloyd George using poison darts. Tens of thousands joined the American Protective League to counter, counter subversion. Okay, develops armored warfare level four. Scientists report progress. Now, if they keep developing armored warfare, we're never going to get those tanks up there because I'm going to be spending all the time upgrading them. Uh, trench warfare development. Uh, industrial technology development to 100%. Level two on that. 318, 517, 270, and 24. I think part of my problem um, not making better gains or progress in this game is um, consistency of play. I don't really play it on a very frequent basis, so like if I had it fresh in my mind what was going on, I'd probably do a little better. Or I might just suck at this game. You never know. <laughs> We're waiting for some of these surrounded German units to start suffering attrition losses like they should. There's the Red Baron over there. He's moving all over the place. France loses nine MPP. Russia loses one. That noise was. I'm not liking how this is uh, spinning like this. Last Albanian forces are about to fall as our capital falls to the uh, Serbians. I mean, the Austro Hungarians. Serbians fell a long time. That was my fault. Right, 
he took four damage. If he gets hit again, he's gonna die. Defensive artillery firing on the Germans. Which did absolutely nothing. Minsk Falls. They're just doing a nasty, nasty number on me over here. <laughs> that guy just wiped him out. Sight unseen. You're dead. Get away from me. I want out. building up a pretty solid defensive line there. They have problems breaking through. Something I forgot to look at. Russian morale falls even more. Albania surrenders. Austria Hungary plunders 33 MPP. City of Brest Litovsk, Bolshevik Russia withdraws from the war. Ottoman Empire gains territory in the Caucasus. Trans-Caucasian Democratic Federative Republic formed. Never heard of it. Only in my reality will you hear of a Trans-Caucasian Democratic Republic. Ukraine declares war of in independence. Bessarabia declares independence from Russia and votes to unite with Romania. We can get some new friends over there. Crimean Re People's Republic declares independence from Russia. Estonia declares independence from Russia. Latvia. Lithuania. Germany controls the administration of Polish Russia. Who the hell are you? <laughs> that was... Long time in coming, but not unexpected. Loss of Minsk reduces Russian national morale. I don't care. Uh, as was feared ever since the Bolsheviks took power, our Russian allies pulled out of the war. Trotsky has signed a peace treaty with the Central Powers, which effectively ends the war in the East. New boundaries are now being drawn as the Baltic states, Crimea, and Ukraine are all declaring independence in the wake of Russia's defeat. Now we will be likely to see large numbers of experienced enemy troops transferred to the West, so we must be prepared to face and defeat a great German offensive. We can do this, and we will still have a chance for victory. Viva la France! Boy. Oh boy. Well, she. Is 
take a look at the uh, 10% for Austria-Hungary. Really? Germany, Russia's not even on there anymore. Oh, yeah, they are. What is uh, Britain? 60%, 48% for the British. They're only at 10% on Austria. Okay. Ooh. Are you so weak? Oh. Can't do anything with you this time anyway, so you there. May take Akin in this turn. Here we go. to be reinforced here. Oh. This ground cover six was last time. Five to one, four to one. Anywhere we can make a move. And not put our forces in a massive amount of problem. One of eight, might as well. guy we could come in and surround Mannheim that was two I think it is two to four it wasn't that good either Sucks. Okay. 
him there. Three here. The one, the three. throw them out in the front like that. Die, but it would work to uh, probably attack this headquarters unit. Not. Oh, didn't work. Swap you guys out. Two to one. Not giving up Munich. Here. Did nothing. All right, <sighs> guys, we got to get back home here. German, I can move him way up. I can't. As he's going. You, I'm going to operate up to the front. There. I need a lot of troops. And get back on the uh, on your capital there, bud. Just sit there. I'll move you out. Just because, why not? can't get out to the Baltic. Out of the Baltic. <sighs> oh, they're blockading. 
go blockade some more. Denmark, Germany, Sweden, Germany. Let me contact. Okay. Anything new here? Take him in a little more. Take him in a little more. Take him in a little more. So I lied about our tanks getting into position on this turn. Um, next turn, they're level two tanks. So sweet. Go me. About uh, here or uh, sorry, knock. <laughs> Excuse me. Go to the diplomacy here, Italy. 19%. We can persuade Duck. Spend it on the US. Spend one diplomatic, or reclaim one diplomatic. Uh, the core for France. Uh, tenth of April on these two core. It's uh, going to be in the next turn. Well, I guess uh, we can hope for the uh, Doughboys, but that's going to be coming up in episode uh, 37. We we'll probably 38, 39, 40, and 41. We're going to hope for the Doughboys. So, anyway, if you like this episode, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, put those in the comment section below. If you want to follow along as we struggle through World War One as the Entente, hit the subscribe. And we will pick this up again in episode number 37, J76NY, saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.